Hey, how you doing? I thought I would throw this short video together on the Denon Prime 4. Back when I got this at the tail end of 2021, I did a few tutorial videos on hot cues, loops, a few other things, and what to do if you want to scratch on these. Now, these weren't made for scratching, obviously. The platter's far too small, it's not a motorized deck like a professional DJ turntable, and the crossfader's not as immediate. So even if you have the contour all the way to the right, where it's off, on, off, on, off, on, is a bit laggy for me. Um, I'm sure you can scratch really well on these things, and if you can, then let us know in the comments how you do it, what are your tips and tricks. I've got a little tip for you today that I'm going to show you on how to scratch very minimally. I'm not a scratch DJ, and especially not on these things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit the. I'm not going to use the fader at all. I'm just going to use the hot cue and then scratch it and then use the hot cue again. Okay, like this. All right, that's basically it. You hit the hot cue. You pull it back, you hold it, and then you hit the hot cue again. All this in time with the beat that's going on on the other deck. For example, I'm using the beat of this, which is 97 BPMs. That's the beat. Now, be careful. Don't pull it back too far, because then you get this, okay? It won't catch up, so the, the deck will have to turn around to, to the point. Um, so just pull it back enough, make sure you, so get the feel of the song, get the feel of the beat, and you'll understand how far to pull it back. In this case, see that was too much, you see? There you go. Little short scratches, just foot, foot, just pull it back a wee bit, okay? If you pull it back too far, it won't play immediately, it'll have to catch up, okay? Um, so be very careful when you're doing that. And that's it, basically. Um, I've got a few hot cues set up, but I don't only need to use this one. So here we go again, just one more time. So you can do this. All right, but if you want to get that scratch sound, <laughs> I pulled it back too far again, you see? And that's it. If you do that a little bit, get some practice, you could probably do a few little tricks during your set. People say, oh man, that guy's scratching. And they can see you doing it as well. So it looks pretty effective. It's nice and cool. And uh, if people enjoy that, then they get a kick out of it. But it's nothing like scratching on a proper turntable with records, obviously. You're never going to get that on these things. Um, not even on the Rev 7, I don't think. But good luck with it if you choose to try and do that. Um, Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for all my music, all kinds of stuff that I do with music. Uh, hit like if you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, leave your comments if you can scratch up a storm on these things. Tell us how. So I'll see you soon for another video. Bye bye.